Hi and welcome everyone. It's Lisa and today I want to share a quick card process with you. I'm using some red rubber stamps from Some Will Fun. I'll be sure to link that for you. And I'm using the large, medium, and small sketch hearts. And I'm going to be using a Happy Valentine's Day sentiment. So to get me started, I'm using some 110 pound cardstock. I'm going to Position the large stamp first and stamp it with some Distress Oxide ink and Candied Apple, Picked Raspberry, and Black Soot. Once I finish stamping the large hearts, I'm going to stamp the smaller ones, the medium and the small, in the same colors. So once I have those stamped, I'm going to go ahead and take this to the Scan and Cut and let it do the cutting for me. If you don't have a Scan and Cut, don't worry you can cut these out by hand. There's no intricate design to them, so they'd be pretty basic to cut out. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add a sentiment to these. Now, when I place the sentiment, you'll notice that that sketch line is kind of on an angle, so I wanted this sentiment to run the same way. And so I kind of added a little angle to that. Now, I'm using white pigment ink. If you don't have white pigment ink, you could easily use white embossing powder. If you do use white embossing powder, just remember to make sure that your stamped image is completely dry and that you add some anti-static powder to it before you lay down your embossing powder. That helps with any stray flecks and you know having messy embossing. Once we finish stamping the sentiment and let these dry because that pigment ink takes a little bit longer to dry, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling our cards. So while I was waiting for that pigment ink to dry, I went ahead and cut my card bases and I'm using five by five top fold cards. It's 110 pound card stock. I also went ahead and die cut some square stitched pattern paper and craft paper. So I'm going to grab my ATG gun and I am going to go ahead and center up the pattern paper. Now I decided that the edge of the paper had a lot of white around there and then I wanted to add a little bit of interest to it. So I grabbed my mini scoreboard and a embossing stylus and I just add some score lines around the edge. I score the top first and then I go back and reverse the score by scoring the back of the paper. It helps me not to have to worry about exactly where to lay my score lines because I know. So I'm adding some 3D mounting foam to the first heart to add to this and then I'm going to set this to the side because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to position the other hearts. I'm going to do the same thing with the score line with the pink pattern paper and I'm going to add the pink heart to this and I'm using a wobble instead of 3D mounting foam. I thought this would be really fun for a kid. We're gonna add another fun element to that too. So for the last card, I'm keeping it real simple. I'm not adding any kind of dimensional tape or anything like that. We're just going to lay everything flat down except for the two smaller hearts. We do add some dimensional tape to that. Um, I decided that I was going to add some sequins to the red hearts and I'm just adding three clear sequins and then for the pink one I position the hearts and I add wobbly eyes and it's so cute when you use the little wobbly action it shakes the eyes and it's just adorable. For the last one I'm just laying the hearts down and I'm going to add a red enamel dot it's just a matte dot one to the bottom heart and that's it we're done. So thanks for joining me. I hope you'll join me again and I hope you have a great day.